準備は言うのに任せてあーでもでもデイジ君が手伝ってくれると助かるかなはいわかりましたしようかな手前だけってのも味気ないしねやっぱり手作りのものも用意したいよねそうだせっかくターニャンの歓迎パーティーだしロシア料理に挑戦してみようかないいですねきっとタチアナも喜ぶと思いますけどロシア料理の材料ってスーパーに売ってますかねうーんあんまり売ってるの見たことないかなあそうだ輸入食材を置いてるお店ならきっとあると思うよそうなんですかならそこに行きましょうかはい。The climax bleed, Excalibur. And honestly, it wasn't the least bit exciting. This time, though, we're going out to get stuff for Tatiana's welcome party. It's peaceful, pleasant, and I don't have any problems enjoying this. Surely this can be called a date, right? I become high spirited and then suddenly have to stop. Because I saw someone familiar in the crowd. It's an attractive looking middle aged foreigner with a scholar scholarly face. Isn't that. Yuri san? Did he say he had to go? He has to go to Su. Suku. Sukuba as soon as possible? But now he shouldn't be anywhere near Asakusa. And why is he accompanied by a shiny looking large man with sunglasses? The fact that I stopped made her curious. I strained my eyes, but I don't see the two anywhere. Yeah. 見間違いだったみたいですそっかじゃあ改めて買い出しに行こうねユナさんエネルギーリストラッツオナイフォーアフターあマンダメンリリドゥルクライケンウィコティニューとウォークラウンアサクサバインエニティングウィニードアワスカナウォーリーウィンチューデシェディポテグッドストーアンサンバッグアリーバウィカウォーリーウィニードアンラフォーダーニートラブル Like me, Yuna-san lives in the area, so she's far more knowledgeable about the local secret shops and the like. Now that I think about it, when we were making the Excalibur, she also knew exactly where to find a shop that has Fugashi. Anyway, we now have everything we needed for the party. Holding large bags in both hands. Honestly, I forgot the last time I bought so much stuff. I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to buy some stuff. それじゃあレイジ君基地に向かってカムバックだよ I enjoyed the shopping date but carrying all the stuff up walking such distances has taken a toll on my energy not to mention that we still have to make the preparations we start making our way back to the office but then we see a familiar face あなったんだ<笑>ゲネさん runs up to Natsumi and I follow after Natsumi <laughs> さん makes a sullen face then notice
今はそのために買い出しをしてるんですあらそうご苦労なことねませいぜい盛り上げてお子様を楽しませなさい私は参加するつもりはないけれどねわおえなっちゃん参加しないのどうして絶対絶対楽しいんだよ私がパーティーとか騒がしいのを嫌いなの知ってるでしょだから源泉にでもいて時間を潰すことにするわ you know, でも源泉も騒がしいよ心配いらないわこのノイズリダクション付きヘッドフォンがあれば下界の低俗な騒音は全てシャットアウト可能だから Damn, girl. She shows us a large set of headphones. そんなこと言わないでパーティーに参加しようよユーのボルシチにだって挑戦しちゃうんだから輸入食材店でちゃんと本場の材料だって買ったんです味も期待できると思いますよそれに夏美さんだってジャッジメントセブンの仲間じゃないですかいないなんて寂しいです Yeah, the, that's the whole point is for the party for the Judgment Seven. Natsumi san momentarily cast her eyes down. Dame yo. Watashi wa sanka shi nai wa. Konton no kuro tenshi de aru watashi wa. So itta zokse no moyoshi ni wa sanka shi nai shugi nano. She sounds obstinate. Wow, demo demo. Party wa tanoshi yo. Natsa mo oide yo. Issho ni mori agaro yo. Natsumi san. Dark barrier does nothing to deter Yunusa. She becomes even more assertive. So now, Natsumi san blows up. Damn, girl. I even Yunusa san could take that easily. She loses her words and looks like she's about to cry. Uh, I gotta deter the situation. You know, sir, the end of the party was about to come to the show. You know, I'm not sure if 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 I'm not 夏美さんもそれでいいですねそれはその時考えることにするわそっかそうだよねパーティーはまたできるもんねうんレジ君一緒に企画しようそれからごめんねなっちゃん今日はユウノが無理に誘って。Looks like she has something to say, but then she just looks down. Her black hair hides her expression. She curtly says that and leaves. That sounded forced. A moment later, she disappears into the crowd. Am I just imagine? Eh? Or did she seem lonely? Ah, Leiji-kun, I saw the kitchen in Kaira no kya ne. Tanya no kangae party no jumbi. You no Leiji-kun to isho ni gamba chan da kara. Yunusan smiles, making it hard to believe that she was so down just a moment ago. My work isn't over yet. I still have to help with the party preparations. This is part of my work as a part timer. But strangely enough, I don't really mind it. I like having fun with everyone too. Exactly why I'm so curious about Natsumi-san's behavior. She always participates in the after parties Natu that naturally come after our messy meetings. So why is she is so averse to this party? Natsumi-san's heart is as chaotic as always. Yeah, it is. That's strange. Judgment Seven Office Lounge, seven twenty-eight p.m. Deba kore yori. With that declaration, we start the party. The table is covered with covered in foods and drinks. Yuna-san and I prepared for food and and dessert. Uh, we have ham, sausage, salad, fried chicken, fried potatoes, all sorts of pizzas. 
different kinds of sushi, an assortment of fruits, and a large chocolate cake. And for drinks, we have everything from soft drinks to canned beer for us and us. Borscht is a type of boiled food. First glance, it looks like a deep red beef stew. The color is caused by beets. Turn up like plant unison but from the shady import store. She hands out everyone's portions. Asano-san doesn't, doesn't hesitate to nitpick about her little sister's cooking. She's definitely not a good example of a good elder sister. Atiana quickly takes her spoon and takes some of the borscht in to her mouth. Oori-san and Uruka-san also try theirs. Oh, <laughs> they raise their voices. Clearly moved. One is a little too impressed though. <laughs> They're seeing everyone's reaction. Asuna tries it out. San <laughs> took. <laughs> She's making an excessively serious expression. ユーノ、あんたどこでこんなの習ったのよ。絶対に習ってなんかいないよ。作ったのもこれが初めてだしね。クッキンパッドを見ながらとりあえずやってみたんだ。クッキンパッド先生の力を借りたとはいえ、初
It has little effect, considering her cheeks are dirty with sauce and her dress is covered in red spots because of the borscht. I wipe her mouth and hands with a wet tissue I had prepared. And I wipe the dress as well as I can. This is making me regret that I didn't prepare a bit. Ori-san watches as I do my best to take care of Tatiana. Reiji-kun, あにしかのお世話係をバッチリこなしているじゃないかい。レイジ君すごいね。言うの感心しちゃったな。我が輩の額に埋もれる第三の目がレイジ貴様の未来を予見したぞ。絶対に未来を予見しないでください。それに何度
Morrison leaves the lounge. A short time later, he returns with a folded vinyl. Something along with the thin mat. So, when he was in the lounge, he was in the lounge. 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 その辺りにでも置いてくれたまえ中にマットを敷くのも忘れないようにね I place the tent at one end of the lounge and spread the mat to complete it Now all I have to do is take her inside My job as a tenant will be done for the day At least that's what I hope レイズ君ちゃんとターニャンを起こして歯磨きさせないとそ、そうなんですか That was quite troublesome when I woke her up Tatiana was all grumpy, so I actually had to brush her teeth for her. Once done with that, I took her over to her tent and put her inside, officially ending my day as her attendant. Man, it's, it's a really hard job. The fact that I'm not used to it doesn't help at all. I'm completely drained. Anyway, it's time for me to go. But when I stand up, the san says something outrageous. どうして僕が Of course I'd shout and shock it to that. I begrudgingly accepted being Tatiana's tenant, but I don't recall ever agreeing to babysit Asano-san too. Asano-san ならこのままここで眠らせておけばいいんじゃないですかいやまあそうなんだけどね。問題は今晩の Asano はかなり飲んでるってとこなんだよね。Uh, what does that mean? ガザケをした後の Asano の寝起きはそりゃあひどくてね。下手をしたらラウンジがめちゃくちゃにされてしまう可能性があるんだよ。Ooh, what a saddening woman! But is it really my job to carry her back home? Maybe I should ask Yuna-san. She's our little sister. おや、言うのも反対なのかい？ With her hand on her chin, she was pondering something. I'd be quite thankful if she refused. For sure, well, she silently gave her conclusion. もう、エジプンなら大丈夫かな？ Eh? I tried to ask what she means by that, but she opens her mouth first. Her words disperse all my hesitation. One reason for that is I'm happy to help her, but I know another really good pro with this. I mean, this is a chance to find out where they, primarily Unison, live. All goes well. She might even invite me in. She might even invite me in for a bit. She might even offer me some coffee. My imagination dominates my mind. I speak out without even realizing. Hey, ma, kase te kudasai. Asano-san wa taisetsu na senpai desu kara ne. Chi no hate made datte hakobimasu yo. You sound too energetic with that boy. Hisago Shopping Street, 9:17 p.m. I put Asano-san on my back, and the three of us leave the building. Right as Yuno-san starts to lead me, to lead me their place, we see Natsumi-san peeking at us from behind the corner. We see she's holding a bag that clearly contains ready-to-eat dinners. It's somewhat of a sad sight. Part of me thinks that it might be best to just ignore, but Yuno-san is a tad too airheaded to consider that. それはちょうどよかったわ。時間を潰してきた甲斐があったわね。She makes a complicated expression. It's a mix of relief and disappointment. あのお子様ももう眠ったんでしょ。それなら安心して基地に戻ることもできるわね。ところで、あなたたち三人はどこへ行くつもりなのかしら。It's really hard to tell whether she cares about that or not. 見ての通り、浅野さんが酔いつぶれちゃったんで。これから家まで送り届けるところです。レイジ君がユーナのお家まで来てくれるんだ。そう。こんなに暑いのに、それはご苦労なことね。そうなの。レイジ君はご苦労様なの。お姉ちゃんをおんぶして歩いたら大変だよね。
Honestly, Asuna sounds tall, but she's also very slim and doesn't have breasts, so she's actually lighter than you expect. I decided against saying that out loud. If Asuna san somehow woke up and heard me, she'd strangle me from behind. So, Natomi san, the fridge is still in the fridge, but the party food is still in the fridge. You can eat it. Yuu, I tried to make the name of Russia food in Bolshchik. It was delicious. You said it was delicious. なっちゃんにも食べてほしいなあのでも私コンビニのお弁当が She looks troubled. I'd give, I'd give her a そのお弁当は明日にでも僕がおいしくいただきますから何でしたら買い取ってもいいですしせっかくのパーティー料理が無駄にならないようにしたいんですだからお願いしますわ分かったわそういうことなら特別に協力してあげるわよサブ生放送でも見ながら適当にいただくことにするわ As though Natsumi-san returns to the office building I didn't, If I didn't know her better I'd say that there's That there's a spring in the step Eiji-kun is great! Eh? What's that? Party food If you don't want to eat so much It's about 2-3 days to eat so much It's about that thing 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 Yuna-san saw right through me. For a simple airhead, she sure is perceptive. And Atsumi-san couldn't participate in the party because she doesn't like group activities. Ugh, stupid. Pop up. Close. Uh, because she doesn't like group activities, but if she eats what we ate, then we have effectively shared some of the experience with her. So, how do you think about it? I just thought it was just a good thing for a convenient event. I'm a bit bashful about her reading me so well, so I try to act like she's wrong. So na kotori, haiku o futari no iye o mezashimashou. Tochiu de tsukare demo orotsu wake ni wa ikimasen kara ne. Ah, gomen ne. Isoi da hou ga iyo ne. Yu no tachi no iye wa kotchi da yo. With Asuna-san on my back, I follow Yuna-san. Hey, Reiji-kun, honto ni taijoubu? O nee-chan omoku nai? そうですね確かに重くないといえば嘘になりますが背負って歩けないほどじゃないですよそっかさすがは男の子だねそういえばこの間もなっちゃんを背負って走ったもんねレイジ君パワフルだね I remember when I carried Natsumi-san away from Bella Bella's in the new world back then I felt something close on my back compared to that I just I just oh shut up <laughs> Compared to that, I feel like I'm carrying a board. The sensation is so rough that it actually hurts a bit. I actually put it here. She's talking bad stuff about me in her sleep. Just what kind of dream is she seeing? I picture what that would be like after walk around with Yuna-san memory weapons. Incomparable to Asano-san against my back. Oh, what a glorious situation. でもそんなピンチの状況なんてないほうがいいのか。ユーノはまだ未成年だからお酒も飲めないしね。でもそうしたらデイジ君におんぶしてもらうのって他にどんな状況があるかな。She's clearly putting more thought into this than she should. So, this is.運動会の音部競争みたいのがあればできるかもしれないですね。運動会か。じゃあ秋になったらジャッジメントセブンで運動会をやろうか。なんか楽しそうだね。確かに楽しそうですけど、夏美さんを参加させるのは至難の業かもしれませんね。I mean, she's a person who didn't participate in a welcome party. I can imagine her going to sports day. そっかな。レイジ君が誘ったらなっちゃんも参加してくれると思うけどな。I have no idea why she thinks that. じゃあ秋になったら運動会をやろう。どっかの公園でお弁当をたくさん持って行って、玉入れとか大玉運びとか綱引きとか金魚すくい。That actually sounds like a lot of fun. いや、金魚すくいは運動会の競技じゃないですし、あと玉入れとか大玉とか綱引きとか道具を揃えるのが大変な競技ばっかですよ。
Those aren't sports, they're just games. Though honestly, I can imagine people having a good time with those. That sounds like someone raises her voice. <laughs> You're sleep talking, shock me sure. But I'm also surprised by her suggestion. Sure, folk dancing fits sports events, but it's such a cutesy thing. Very unlike her. <laughs> the boys beside me are Warsan and Rukasan, though. I imagine they make their hearts throb for some other reason. <laughs> <laughs> now that's sure well timed. It makes me doubt if she's actually asleep. Hi, hi, so this Asano dance She hums joyously and keeps walking for it. Doesn't take long for us to arrive at their home. To get to their apartment, you walk out of the Koto Toei Street, walk westward until you pass the intersection at Nishia Asakusa Block 3 and entering an alley on the side. But only, it's only a short distance away past the boundary that existed in the VR. <laughs> it must have been pretty bit frustrating to be, be unable to return home when it's so close. It's a wooden two-story building. I can't say much, considering my own apartment isn't all that better. But this place looks quite old. Unison invites me to a room on the second floor. Asano-san and Yuno's room. 9.41 p.m. The room is actually two adjoining rooms, but they're still very small. Yuno-san spreads out a futon on the room deeper inside, and I put Asano-san down on it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here, you guys. Uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.